My name is Sarah Bond. My pronouns are she, her, and I am the head of ecosystem. For- I don't care. Well, hello. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon. By the time you see this video, me and my faithful companion, Miss Jill Valentine, right here. Yes, another insane, maybe perverted AI creation from yours truly. I feel like a digital Dr. Frankenstein. And this time, it's Jill as a trailer trash girl, but I think that's an insult to women who like to wear very skimpy, naughty denim shorts and tops to match. Because honestly, if you look at Jill here, she's a very classy lady and that she likes to eat hot dogs, especially the special Whopper Dopper hot dog I've got ready for her later on. But guess what, folks? It's the rule of three Dead Rising, the reluxed, remaxed. Deluxe edition that's coming out in November. Guess what? Capcom have oops done it again to quote Britney Spears. They have yet added another censored ribbon to their bow. This one is even more insane and I'll get right into it after I just sit back here and admire that incredible view or and those legs of Miss Jill Valentine. Well, space fans, exciting news, huh? And there's even more in part two. On today's episode of Kung Fu Hot Dog. Okay, you can come. Is that why you came, huh? Are you coming? Kind of busy right now. And I'm coming for it, Ken. I'm coming for the fucking money, you piece of shit. I'm like uh, getting the feeling of coming in the gym. I'm getting the feeling of coming at home. I'm getting the feeling. In the ass end of space, even aliens watch Jason King with Kung Fu Hot Dog. This is the greatest show I've seen in my life. Duke Nukem writes this guy. by 1970s Robert Redford. <laughs> so can't see a bounding into comics because credit where credit is due, folks. More censorship confirmed for Dead Rising Deluxe Remaster as Capcom removes anti-commy dialogue line from Psychopath Cliff Hudson fight. Isn't that incredible? And of course, folks, I will come back to the actual video of this later on, which will be a real surprise for you when you see it in full bloom, in full context. But honestly, at this stage, Capcom are really disappointing me as a company. A couple of years ago, we just had so much faith in them. They're making a remake after remake. They're all being awesomely successful in terms of game sales, which doesn't leave me much hope for any future remakes of things like uh, Code Veronica X, RE5, anything else, because I wonder if those games had some problematic elements back in their day and they're now going to subtly remove them. The problem is fans, long-time fans, know what, they know what these games are like. They've played them time and time again. So you really can't hide anything, folks. And it's just a really sad day. It's, it's like the third video I've made about Dead Rising Remake in the space of a couple of weeks. And by the way, I said at the beginning of this video, this is a November release. It's actually September. So, and again, I will say this remaster of Frank West, I did say in the previous video, I thought it looked good. I prefer the original. I just do. It's something about the original design I like so much. The voice actor, TJ Rotolo, was so good. Oh, hang on a second. I did not know this. Dead Rising Deluxe Remaster, the reason why TJ Rotolo is not returning as Frank West voice is simply because Capcom did not contact him. Boo! Capcom, boo! You suck! Hello, y'all. Your question and support is seen and appreciated. The answer to your question is, I have no answer. All I can say is that I've always been grateful for every opportunity to help bring Frank to life. An actor's job when called upon is to show up, prepared, deliver your best, and when done, move on to the next mission. I simply wasn't called for the mission. The reasons are the producer's own. That's such a shame. That's uh, 
That's a real shame, actually. That is terrible, man. Holy shit. So that's another reason, folks, not to even waste your money on this deluxe remake if they're not bringing back the voice actor, the original man. That makes no sense. It's like bringing back Splinter Cell without Michael Ironside. And yes, they did that with <laughs> Blacklist, but oh my God. But Michael Ironside had health issues at that point. So I actually understand that. But I think the rule is for me personally, if you have a, a recurring actor or an actress who's like synonymous with a video game character, do lots of B-roll with them and then put them to one side because you might find the way to uh, reconstitute those or use them for a future DLC, uh, maybe um, part of a few scenes for the next sequel if you're greenlit for that right. So that's something that people should be aware of. Obviously, AI voice cloning is pretty good these days. I've actually heard some amazing things that you would actually be remiss to think that that was Tom Hiddleston you heard and actually no, It was actually an AI piece of software cloning Mr. Hiddleston's voice. So I thought that was pretty mad. So here we are, folks. Here is the scene in question. The original 2006. Name is Red Soldier. You can't tell me, can you, fella? Oh yeah, I know why. It's because you're Viet Cong. I'm right, aren't I? You are nothing but a filthy dog. That music, and again, I've just got to go to Frank West right here. He reminds me of Diedrich Bader. I've, I've been looking at his face and I'm thinking, who did, which actor from office space does remind me of is Dietrich Bader who is a good actor anyway I've always liked this creation of Frank it's so cool uh, so when people say oh you know 2006 graphics they you know that's an insult some 2006 graphics are better than the shit I've seen today now you're probably wondering what they've actually changed it to well you're about to see for yourself You're nothing but a filthy animal! Oh my god, you can't have the more edgy commie line anymore. Because let's face it, folks, uh, <laughs> that C word is an absolute disease, right? See, nobody be, no one wants to be run under that ideology in their country, do they? Uh, I actually think Great Britain is heading towards that somehow. I really do. You can kind of see traces of it already and i hate it that's why i want to get out of this country i mean do you know what i wish for the most folks do you know what i'm going to leave that towards the end of this video because it's quite telling when i let you know what i actually think but having seen that ridiculous sidestep of censorship have a look at this so die hard 2 which we all love from 1990 Not only have they altered one of cinema's most iconic lines of dialogue, they've also hired a diverse actor for a Caucasian Bruce Willis and dubbed his lines with that ridiculous piece of... Uh, yeah, I, I just can't even... My, it, it's, it's funny. It's so funny you have to laugh. Of course, the television, they will censor it. And then you hear the original, obviously from the 1988 Die Hard. Yippee-ki-yay, motherfucker. <laughs> See? It's a chalk and cheese difference. Oh, my God. Poor Alan Rickman. Rest in peace, dude. Even he's thinking, Mr. McLean, I do not appreciate such foul language. And it seems now, folks, what a terrible thing, right, regarding censorship in video games. I've said this before, and this is actually what I want to say now, by the way. Um... I really want to get out of the UK and I always believe I'm a big believer in this phrase you never know who's watching you on YouTube I don't talk I'm not talking about big tech or anything like that I'm talking about you the viewer and maybe you Jill if you like to open up your mouth sometime and have a bit of dialogue with me 
But I guess, uh, no, we're not going to even approach that next line of dialogue. I was thinking in my filthy mind, but I really want to leave the UK. I would love to, I would love to move to Hawaii or Japan. That's it. No other place on earth that I want to go to. I really would like the opportunity just to get away from Great Britain. It's not Great Britain anymore. It's becoming something more demonic, something more evil. And uh, and I've been living here all my life. So I do know what I'm talking about in that respect. So when I hear people like Capcom and now removing a very edgy piece of dialogue that back in the day, no one had a problem with because that was the attitude and the mood of the time. Now it's all about, oh, that we're going to offend people because people are very anti-communist but if we put that in it makes capcom look like we support that so unfortunately when i used to champion japan making based video games that sadly is not the case anymore is it's the brand of capcom is slowly dwindling can you imagine when the next street fighter game comes out if they're going to try and censor the costumes of Cami, especially her. She's the biggest offender, apparently. And then people just go in and do their own mods anyways. It's a lie! It's a lie! I'm so disappointed in Capcom as a company. That's why I look at people like Neki Games with Spine, uh, obviously South Korea and China for Black Myth Wukong, which I will be talking about in my next video, by the way. I mean, I'm so excited for that game to come out. So it's going to be really awesome. But it's another sad day, folks. Don't don't waste your money on this digital remaster of Dead Rising from 2006. I mean, what have they done? They've censored Jessica McCartney's well, the fact you can't even take naughty pictures of her anymore. They've censored the erotic photo mechanic. They've turned Larry Fong from a Japanese psychopathic butcher into a white dude. And then now we've got this, the rule of three so far, where actually it's the rule of four. Obviously, they've removed that commie dialogue and they've removed the voice actor. Oh my God, I had no idea that was coming up in this video. So I was quite shocked because I thought TJ Rotolo's voice was amazing. So what a shame they did not ask him to come back. I think it's disgraceful. And Capcom, I just, I'm just lost faith in you as a company altogether. So on that one, ladies and gentlemen, if you were me and if I were you, you might want to come back for the next video. Well, maybe I don't exactly believe everything I see on TV.